Alright, fuckers and fuckettes, now. I get a, a lot of questions from people on how I evaluate an old bike when I'm first getting ready to buy it, and I've covered a little bit about, you know, inspect the bike thoroughly. But, um, say you're buying an old uh, Honda SL350 or um, you're buying a 38 knucklehead and you're spending anywhere from 10 to 60 grand. Well, you want to make sure that your investment's a wise one, so you go down first before you even start looking for your bike and you buy you one of these. It's a little camera. As you can see, it works pretty good, but it's got a little thing. And I stick it down in the bore, and I look around. First thing I do is find a cylinder wall. Which, as you can tell, I have found the cylinder wall looks pretty good. Oh, but what have we here? We have a bunch of pitting on the top of the piston. Shit's sparkly even. Look at that. And there's our reject point right there. Top of the piston's melted. See if I can get that in there. See where the top of the piston's melted up against the cylinder wall? That's my reject point on that whole engine. We know that that one didn't freeze from rust, that one froze from heat. And no, by the way, this engine is not the one that's usually on my bench. That one's sitting down there. I broke this one out because I knew what was wrong with it. But I figured I'd show you how to inspect these damn things. You know, this little camera's a couple hundred dollars. And if I'm checking out an engine on a really rare piece that I am about to buy, it's going in them spark plug holes. And if they tell me they don't want me to do that, I'm walking away and I'm going to another bike. Because uh, you see that story right there that I'm seeing? I don't mind that there's a little carbon on top of the pistons. I don't mind that it doesn't quite appear to... But I do mind that it had that melted spot. See, I got pieces of ring showing through there. Ooh, and look at that. I got a crack in the cylinder wall right there. cracks in the cylinder wall all over the place. Look at that right there. Another reason to reject this engine. Oh hell, we got a Yamaha here. Alright, holler tail fuckers and fuckheads later. That's how you check them out when you're buying an expensive one. When you're buying some cheap piece of shit, put a compression tester on it, fuck it, call it good. But uh well, holler at y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.